While nuclear power does not produce anything that creates air pollution, certainly no greenhouse gases or anything along that lines, we do know that we create waste as part of the nuclear power program. As an industry, we were developing strategies to deal with our used fuel. Once a fuel assembly has been processed through three different refueling cycles, it's then removed and placed in a spent fuel pool at the facility that it was used at, awaiting some form of solution for long-term storage. Our normal storage of the used fuel is in our spent fuel pools. Our spent fuel pools here at Vogel are uh, reaching their capacity, which is why we have to initiate plans for the dry cast storage of the fuel you are able to store used fuel in these canisters in a dry fashion after they're in the fuel pool for five years. When Jimmy Carter first became president in 1977, he banned recycling and reprocessing. And as a result of that, and a result of the passage of Nuclear Waste Policy Act, which, which designated the uh, government solely responsible for disposal, there is no alternative for utilities to pursue any other option than disposal of spent fuel in a geologic repository. There are others in the nuclear industry around the world that believe in reprocessing that nuclear fuel. In France, we have decided that recycling was also a solution for used fuel in nuclear activity. And personally, I strongly believe that it's a good decision. Because of France's decision to recycle used fuel, it can create new fuel for its power plants, but it also reduces the amount of material that it has to store in rooms like these. We are here in uh, Cherbourg at the port terminal where the unloading and uh, loading operations of radioactive material take place. Basically, the vitrified waste and the uh, spent fuel coming from Japan as well are unloaded here. This uh, spent fuel is transported into big casks, heavy capacity casks, and uh, we transfer them from this ship to the recycling uh, plant at La Hague using a road transport unit. One of the products of recycling process is uh, waste, only 4% of waste. So vitrification is just to mix waste on glass. So if you have any contact of water, it's impossible that the water catch, you know, the radioactivity. So we don't have any risk to have pollution of the environment. Welcome to uh, one of the interim storage for high activity waste. Uh, that's where we store the glasses we just talked about earlier. In three rooms this size, which are about the size of a high school basketball court, is stored all of the high-level waste from 40 years of nuclear energy in France. France has about half as many nuclear power plants as the United States, so a rough doubling of this program would be enough to manage the United States to use nuclear fuel. One of the reasons I got into the nuclear power industry was that I was fascinated by the fact that we could produce this much power this cleanly, really, when you look at the very limited amount of waste that a nuclear power plant creates. The key to solving the nuclear waste problem, I think, is a combination of a geologic repository in conjunction with uh, reprocessing and recycle. Geologic repository is a permanent facility for the disposal of waste, not spent fuel. No matter which way the country opts to go, whether they opt for reprocessing and recycling or direct disposal, the country urgently needs a geologic repository. And in that case, Yucca Mountain, I think, is well suited for that purpose. The state of the U.S. program simply is on hold, and 30 years of research and scientific effort has gone into characterizing that site. And presently, uh, the Department of Energy has a license application that's pending before the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. All that has been put on hold. Mm -hmm.